Our Sanborn fire insurance maps are very special. The Sanborn map company is based out of New York. They, through the years, have made fire insurance maps. It's a snapshot of what the buildings were like at a period of time in a particular city. We have an online database that includes all of the various Sanborn maps that were made for Topeka. These range from the 1880s to the 1950s. We also have many of the maps on microfilm. Microfilm is a way of preserving larger documents and documents so that they are much easier to store and retrieve. It takes a lot less space for us to have all of these maps on our microfilm than it does to have them in our print versions. The other resource we have are two different sets. These large ones, these are wonderful because they do one thing that the database and the microfilm do not. These give us color. We maintain this collection of Sanborn maps because they are very useful in researching the history of buildings and the history of the city of Topeka. As the city of Topeka grew, the scope of the Sanborn maps increased. In each of the map volumes, you will find an index page which shows different areas of what is covered in this volume. We do have two volumes. Volume 1 covers the downtown part of Topeka. Volume 2 covers the outskirts. There's also a key that talks about what the building material is for specific buildings. What type of neighborhood, what type of industry or commercial or housing. Is it brick? Is it uh, concrete? Does it have tile? Is it adobe? Different things like that help show the risk of fire. And that is what the primary use of these maps was originally. At the library, we use them to track properties back in time. These are great because you can trace back to see maybe in 1913, the current property was not on that lot, but another property was, or maybe there's been an addition since 1913. These books were updated through the years, and as you can hopefully see, there were little pieces of paper cut out and glued in on top. We use these to track what buildings were there, what was the construction, and what was the basic floor plan. On this page, we see where East Topeka Junior High School was built. Between the original time of this map and when the, the junior high school was built, you can see this used to be a neighborhood block. Faintly you can see the former buildings through the pasted on. You do still see the lot numbers showing what block this is, what lots this is covering. And then you see where the school was built and the outline of the school. There have been many ways that Sanborn maps have been used that were not part of their original function. As I said earlier, the original function was just for fire insurance purposes. The maps have been used for just basic genealogical research in that people have found out that their relatives lived at a certain address and they've been able to track that address back in time. We can get a general feel for when buildings have been built by looking at the Sanborn maps if they were in Topeka proper. Different things that you can find out about functions of buildings, such as businesses, so that when we're doing business research, we can often find out what business was using that building at that time. Was this a feed store? Was this a hotel? Was it a residence? It helps us trace neighborhoods. It helps us trace individual buildings in the city of Topeka. Sanborn fire insurance maps are really special because they give us a snapshot into the history of our town. If we didn't have the Sanborn maps available either in the print version on the microfilm or as a digital database, we would be at a loss to help trace a lot of buildings in town and we would not be able to help people find out the history of their house, their neighborhood, or the business that they own.